The guy who many first considered as a joke or sideshow, Donald Trump, has now become the Republican frontrunner candidate for president. Trump racked up more delegates for the nomination last night with primary wins in three more states. Political blogger David Leonkai from the LULAC Political Letter is now here with more. David, it's great to see you today. Very happy to be here. So the question a lot of people are asking is, about a year ago, it was a big joke. Donald Trump may run for president. Uh, people kind of laughed at the idea. And over the past year, he has transformed into the front runner. How did that happen? Years ago, there used to be a cereal commercial, and there was a little boy in it named Mikey. And Mikey hated everything. And when Donald Trump announced for president, what he did was he basically came after the Democratic Party and said there's something wrong with the Democratic Party. But what he also did was he also said the Republican Party stunk too. And he stood up there, and he basically was very honest about the shortcomings of the Republican Party. That resonated with people. When we did the year-end segment for the top stories of the year. You and I agreed that the Trump phenomenon was not going to go anywhere until he started to win. And lo and behold, he started to win. And now it's a serious thing. I mean, Michigan was, was a big win for him last night. And the thing we've seen in recent weeks, David, is whoever decides to take Trump on. It started with Jeb Bush. Then Marco Rubio seems to be faltering, that Mitt Romney came out with a big attack, which really didn't seem to do much of anything. Why do you think everyone that attacks him ends up going down? Because he brilliantly frames the argument. He never takes responsibility for what he says, like he said with Ted Cruz. I understand that people say that Ted Cruz was born in Canada. I understand that people say that Jeb Bush is a low energy person. So he puts the thought out there, but he doesn't say it until after he frames it and says, I understand that, and that's and then and that's what happens. And I think also too, he talks about the way that he's going to change things. Now, he's kind of light on specifics, but what he has decimated, and it's fascinating to me, he's decimated a field of people that were qualified and have records of their own. And people seem to be taking a flyer on him even though he doesn't have governmental experience and maybe that's some people on. Now a lot of people talk about Florida and Ohio and the primaries there and uh, many are saying that if Trump could pull through in those states he may kind of go over the heap and really be in contention for the nomination. What do you think about that? He will be formidable. I think that he's most likely going to win in Florida and if he if he if if Kasich wins in Ohio he may break even in Ohio or he may win in Ohio and what about when we get here to Pennsylvania do you think Trump will take our state I believe so I really believe so yeah because I think that he's going to do very well in Ohio he may very well win in Ohio I'm kind of fudging about that because of Kasich being the sitting governor there, but he may, may very well win Florida and Ohio. Now, some are saying if Trump falters in some or maybe a lot of these states in the coming weeks that we could go to what's called a brokered convention. We've heard Mitt Romney throw his name out there and maybe he's a consideration. So what happens if Trump does not secure enough delegates and we go to a brokered convention? Can you see someone besides him or maybe someone that's not running now become the nominee? A couple of dynamics going on here. He needs 60% of the votes to avoid a brokered convention. And Romney may be a, a, a choice, but at what cost? I really think that if there is a brokered convention, uh, it's going to be, it's, it's going to split the Republican Party. And then the Republican Party has to make a choice to write out the Trump phenomenon or to try to get with Canada their own. Right now, there are people that are backing him. There's a core group of 40% of people. And if they deny him the nomination after he gets enough votes, after he pulls in that 60% that he needs, it's going to split up the party. David, I'm going to put you on the spot here, and I'm looking for a one-word answer on this question. Come the fall, if Trump is the Republican nominee, will he win the general election? He, th there's a 50-50 chance on that. It depends on who he supports. You're, you're asking me to do a one-word answer. 50-50 uh, chance. So maybe. Maybe. Maybe is the answer. All right, but we know this one for sure. Where can people find your blog online? LulacPoliticalArtor.blogspot.com. David Yonka, as always, it's such a pleasure. Thank you so Very much. Very happy to be here. Thank you.